my name is Missy Peterson and I'm 49 years old. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at a year and a half and I have my double lung transplant um, in 1996 when I was 23 years old. So that was a little over 25 years ago. And I've been going to the transplant games uh, since 1998, competing in swimming and golf. And this year I'm actually gonna be doing a couple more things, bowling and darts and trivia. I'm Marissa Giuliano. I am 31 and I have CF. I was diagnosed when I was two years old. I grew up in Oregon. Uh, now I live in the Bay Area. I got my lung transplant in 2015 at UCSF. I have been going to the transplant game since 2018. So I'm Isa and I, I have been going to the games for, this will be my ninth games. I'm 18 years post-transplant and uh, I've been going to the games ever since I was five and a half months post-transplant, 2004. And it's been a really important source of motivation for me to stay healthy. My name is Matt. Uh, I am a double lung transplant times two. My first transplant was uh, in May of 2012. And um, those new lungs did really well for me, lasted a little more than eight years. And then I had my second double lung transplant in July of 2020 right in the middle of the pandemic. And uh, so I'm about two years post transplant uh, following, following that second double lung transplant procedure. My first uh, transplant games of America was in 2016 in Cleveland. I also attended the world transplant games in, uh, in Spain in 2017. Hi, my name is Erin Hoy. I am 31 years old. I was born with cystic fibrosis and I was diagnosed at birth. I became involved with CFRI from before I even knew I was because my dad was on the board. Um, I underwent a double lung transplant when I was 25 years old. And a year and a half later, I competed in my first world transplant games in Spain. Transplant games, um, as far as I know, has been around since about 1990. And it was initially started by the National Kidney Foundation with the intention of raising awareness of the number of people who need kidneys as well as other organ transplants and to create a large public um, sporting event that would draw attention from the media as well as local towns um, to raise awareness of organ donation and also to represent what donation can give to recipients, to show that we are capable of being strong and healthy and competitive athletes. It's also a chance for donor families to come together and be honored. The transplant games um, happen every two years in the United States in different cities, um, usually in the Midwest or the East Coast, um, but this year, 2022, they are gonna be held in San Diego. So that's very exciting. Um, in about 2012, the Transplant Games was taken over by a nonprofit organization called Transplant Life Foundation, or Transplant Games of America is one of their uh, main uh, activities that they put on with the help of a lot of sponsors. The World Transplant Games is run by a different organization, um, two separate entities. Um, Lisa, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's actually called the World Transplant Games Federation mm -hmm. that puts on the World Transplant Games. Um, the two events are very similar um, and their, their goal is pretty much identical. The World Games is just sort of on a larger global scale, um, you know, with the, with the goal really, again, being bringing awareness to organ donation and transplantation and showing the world that transplantation works. I love the World Games. It very much has a feel to me, almost like the Summer Olympics of organ transplant games. You know, there's usually over 2,000 or so athletes that participate from anywhere between 60 and 70 countries that participate. Again, and it's just so incredibly inspiring to meet people from literally all over the world who have also received organ transplants um to hear their different stories and you know but then because it's global you 
you know, you kind of tie in a, a different component of, of the cultural differences to compete against these other athletes from all over the world, but also to form friendships and bonds with all of these people from different walks of life who have been through the same exact things that we have. I grew up a competitive swimmer, competitive soccer player. I have been an athlete my entire life. So for me, the Transplant Games was a way to get back into competition. There's nothing more than I love than competing. Um, but you, if you are going to have a transplant or you've had a transplant and you're listening to this and you're thinking, I'm not an athlete, sports is never something I've really been into. They actually offer a bunch of other things. I think they offer poker, darts, bowling, archery. You can do team kayaking, golf. So there's a bunch of stuff that they offer that you do not have to be like well-versed in or have grown up playing. They're fun. They're social events. And the Transplant Games in general is not all about the competition. We do team dinners every night. They have activities. They have the opening ceremony, the closing ceremony. They offer concerts. So if you're like thinking, oh, I'm not an athlete. I don't have any previous history of sports. There is something for everybody. When I've been to the Transplant Games and I see all these transplant recipients and um, donors there it's just uh, all they're all there for a common reason and it brings this like awesome group of people that is so just grateful for being alive is just really inspiring um, all different ages all different athletic abilities um, everyone's just out there like grateful to be alive and trying their best and, you know, be, being healthy, living a healthy lifestyle. The, the Transplant Games really promotes that. You know, you have to, everyone has a story. It's there. It's so powerful. And just a story of resilience and determination and um, the donor families as well being there is really special because like for me personally, I haven't met my donor family and so just being able to have like a representative kind of a, of the donor family and um to show them how appreciative i am um of, of donors and their families and um it's it's just really neat unlike anything else that i've ever been a part of one of the inspirational things at the Transplant Games is seeing others who may have had a more difficult time after transplant or um, may have had more challenges or may have more challenges compete alongside of you. And there are many people that are you know, that have had kidney transplants and liver transplants that might be way further out, like 30, 40 years. And with living that long with transplant comes complications and some folks you know, may have lost limbs or just have more uh, breathing difficulties or whatever it might be, heart issues. But there was one young gentleman um, years ago, I remember he would come to the games and he would swim like a 25 or a 50 free and he was missing multiple limbs. And you might ask yourself, how in the world could somebody with multiple limbs missing swim? Well, he did. It brought the whole entire crowd to their feet and everybody would be clapping and I think we could have created a whole nother pool of water with the tears that were flowing from everybody with seeing him do that. We're all just one big, great, big, happy family and we inspire each other. And um, we're inspired also by the donor families that go and we wanna make them proud and we want them to know that these organs that we've received are not going to waste. We are doing what we can, the best we can with the gift that we've been given. These transplant games are, are all about honoring our donor or donors, and um, that certainly is, is a, big, a big part of it for me. Um, you know, these, the, the, the purpose of the transplant games is to really spread awareness to organ donation and transplantation and to show the world that transplantation works. I love being a competitive athlete. Um, I was a competitive athlete in my younger years um, in high school and college. And so after my transplant, after my first transplant, when I found out 
about the transplant games, I got really excited because I, I thought, oh, this is this is this will be a great athletic outlet for me to uh, sort of scratch that competitive itch of mine. And then when I went there, uh, it was so much more than that. I, I learned very quickly. It was so much more than uh, than just just the competition. Um, there was such an emotional aspect to it that I just fell in love with. And um, I just, I, I loved the donor tributes, the getting to meet so many people who, who have uh, both, who are both living donors as well as those who are donor recipients. You know, like you said, it's just, it's an emotional time. It's, it's fun. And, uh, and it's very, and, and it's just a great way to honor, honor, uh, honor our donors. My first games, uh, I was invited by somebody else in the transplant community that had had a double lung transplant. And they invited me to come to a meeting to find out what it was all about. And at that time in my life, I was not a competitive swimmer. I golfed. And so I was like, well, okay, I can golf at the games. And somebody's like, why don't you try something else too? So I did a, I did a 50 free and I'll never forget my first games most people probably would have given up swimming after their first games if, if what happened to me at that games happened to anybody else because I was swimming and on my way back, I swallowed like what felt like the whole pool of water and I started choking and I didn't know if I was going to make it back to the other end. And this is just a 50 and that's not tons of swimming. And I was like gulping and gulping. And at first I thought, oh, they're going to have to send the lifeguard in after me. And I finished, I finished it. And it, it didn't stop me. It actually motivated me because I enjoyed the swimming so much. It's just so neat to meet other people that have gone through what you've gone through. And it's like a big family. It's like a second family. And so it was just, it was pretty amazing. Games really motivate me to um, be active and stay in shape. I grew up in sports. And um, so it's always been a big part of my life, uh, staying healthy and um, I think just going outside and participating in um, a sport or just going on a walk or something, you know, keeps um, your, your body healthy and also your mind. You know, being outside, I think, is so powerful, even if, you know, you're having a, a bad day or it just kind of helps um, clear your mind and kind of puts things in perspective almost a lot of times when I'm outside and I'm seeing like beautiful nature and everything around me. Um, it, it puts me in a lot better space and I'm, yeah, so grateful to be healthy enough to experience that. And um, the, the transplant came, games, you know, motivate me. I want to be able to do my best. Sometimes I don't want to go exercise, but like in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, I, I should, like, it'll help me. I always feel better when I, after I exercise. To stay um, connected to other people that are equally, um, you know, need, needing exercise to stay well. It's been a source of tremendous uh, inspiration for me to see people of all walks of life, everyone completely different, living, living in different areas, different cultures from around the country all saved by the gift of life. Um, so th it's really hard to put into words what the games is like. Um, it's a magical uh, celebration of life force. And it's the most life affirming event that I've ever been part of. It's an extraordinary way for my family and my friends to gather to just really appreciate the miracle of organ donation. And I go to the games to honor my lung donor, Xavier Cervantes, and to give thanks. And uh, since 2014, I also go to the games to honor my sister who uh, died and became a double cornea uh, donor. And she was also a double lung recipient times two. So I, I honor her and um, she was the one that motivated me to get, to become involved with the transplant games. Competing in the transplant games has been almost life changing for me. Um, after transplant, I needed something to focus on. I needed a goal to achieve. And they do give you many goals as you're working through your transplant, like, okay, walk 30 minutes on a treadmill, 
But for me, I grew up as an athlete. I needed something more. I needed something bigger. And the transplant games gave me just that. They gave me a goal to work towards. Um, it gave me an opportunity to get back in the water. I grew up as a competitive swimmer. And so having the goal to get back in the water, get back in competing shape, it helped me not only mentally, but physically. The swimming, swimming is truly one of the best things that you can do for your lungs. So it helps me expand my lungs, get back into shape, help rebuild the muscles that I had lost during transplant from being sick, being bedridden, being low on oxygen. Um, and mentally, it helped me become a competitor again. It helped me have something to live for, have something to work for. And that's just something I've always needed in my life. So I truly thank the World Transplant Games for giving me the opportunity to have access to something that helps me in all of those ways. Mm -hmm.